Hello genealogists, it's Craig and my favorite day of the week is Book Sunday. So that I get to touch the new books that come in. We have an author that likes to have hardback books. His name is John Beeks and this is his new book on William Campbell. You've seen his other, some of his other books before when we were talking about Maryland, the Revolutionary War. He's a book on Ortho Williams. He has a book on John Edgar Howard. He has a book on uh, Lee. Um, and maybe even one more book. It just escapes me. But this is his latest book. And William Campbell fights at um, Kings Mountain and at Guilford Courthouse. He's a militia colonel. And I'm really looking forward to uh, selling a bunch of these. Um, we actually, although it looks like we published this book because it says Heritage Books on the cover, uh, we actually don't. He actually self-publishes and then gives it to us to um, distribute for him. It's a very uh, nice arrangement. By the way, there's color inside this book. Um, this lots of color inside this book. This book is actually put together by Otter Bay Books and Hughes. And if you want to self-publish and you need help and are willing to pay for it, uh, she is probably the best game in town for genealogical publishing. She used to run Gateway Press for Genealogical Publishing Company many years ago, and she knows how to create books. These are well done. So not only is the book well done, but the content given the author is well done also. It's always a pleasure to read one of John Beek's books, and I've read several of them, and I am looking forward to being able to find the time to read this one. I, the way that I read books like this is normally I do it on an eight hour airplane flight. And unfortunately I haven't had one of those in a while. So that's disturbing. But anyway, this one I'm gonna read. So weeks ago I told you that there were a few books that had come in and I hadn't had time to process them. And if you look behind me, the general piles of stuff stacked up have disappeared and that isn't just because I moved them somewhere else although some of them appear on my desk but not to the degree that they were there before and just as I thought that I was getting caught up which won't happen because I still have over 400 or 500 titles for Mountain Press to get entered into the system and I haven't even talked really about those if you're interested in Texas marriages somehow you need to be in touch with me to see what counties I have, that kind of thing. I don't even know yet. But the two books that I'm talking about is one is a two volume set called Historical Collections of the State of Pennsylvania. And this is, um, this is just a really good book about Pennsylvania in general early on is the best way that I can put it. Um, and then the history of Franklin, Jefferson, Washington, Crawford, and Gasconde, if that's how it's pronounced, Missouri. This is a reprint of Good Speed Publishing. So it's a combination of a whole bunch of them together kind of thing in the volume that Good Speed did. And these are always kind of interesting to provide a little bit of insight into an individual county before you get started in it. It may not have your ancestor in it, but it probably has individuals who knew your ancestor if they were there early enough. What I have been working on most of the day, I thought I was caught up. I mean, after all, I just did these books that I've had for weeks and weeks and hadn't got to. I also got to finish off uh, John Brayton's books, uh, First Families of North Carolina, the three volume set. It finally got put up. So much fun. Well, half the 250 books for the Joseph Vick family of Lower Parish, Isle of Wight County, Virginia, and his descendants, Volume 1, showed up today. The postman walked into the building, pulled out the, 
pulled out my cart, took it outside and filled it up. And this is a book that we're distributing for the Vic Family Association. I think that's the correct title. Um, and it is the only leatherite book I have in stock. It's a leather, leather cover. At least it appears to be a leather cover. Um, I'm going to have to check to see whether it's actually leather or whether it's a faux leather, but it, it smells like it could be. So anyway, this is Joseph Vick of Lower Parish, Isle of Wight County, Virginia, which is a new addition to our repertoire. And it just showed up today and it hasn't been entered yet. So I better put it in the other pile because I have to do that. And then the other thing that showed up today is I got two cases of books from Iberian. And although I've had a few of these books in stock and in the system, I haven't had all of these books in stock. Let me lift this up high enough. And this isn't all of them. But John Vogt, over the past few years, has been working on... North Carolina marriage records. And I can assure you that they would go all the way to the top of the screen if I got up and got them. But I'm not going to reach for them. I'm making my point that I now have quite a number of North Carolina marriage records that I may not have had before. Now, we have two authors that do this kind of thing. One is Francis Ingmeyer, and the other one is John Vogt. So they both have put together North Carolina marriage abstracts. Uh, Ingmeyer did hers quite a while ago, and Vogt has been diligently working on them since about 2004. And I'm surprised that I didn't have some of them earlier. But anyway, those have been added. So if you're looking for North Carolina marriages, we now have two opportunities. It's always nice to look and see how somebody else interpreted something and compare. I, I, some people come to me and will ask me if I want to do a book. And I'll say, but somebody else has already done that book. And then I'll say, but that doesn't make any difference because if a person buys one book, they're going to be willing to buy a second book and to do the exhaustive search kind of thing. Because it never fails that people miss things. And this is sort of like a double check on marriages. Well, a lot of these are, the most of, not all of these, but many of these were taken from Works Progress Administration stuff. Some of these were taken from court records in the county seats, and some of these were taken from information in the um, North Carolina State Archives. So, a full load this week. I th I'm up to, I think, I'm almost through the seas. I'm up to Chatham County and getting them in. And I probably am not going to get them in, but if you want me to, I'm meaning I'm not going to get them in all today or tomorrow. But if you're looking for a county and you don't see it, all you have to do is query me and I'll move it to the top of the pile. So, this has been Craig. This has been Just Genealogy. And this has been a rather full book, Sunday. Thank you all for joining me. We have over a thousand hours, so we're one-fourth of the way to the end of the rainbow. And we almost have 500 subscribers which will put us halfway to the end of the other rainbow and um, I'm not really interested in rainbows over my facility uh, much like there were rainbows over Buckingham Palace the other day um, uh, I want to live a lot longer than 96 not too much longer but longer dad's 94 right now mom's 91 so there's hope Besides, my granddaughter is not going to be old enough to run Heritage Books for at least that many years. I have a good time. If it isn't fun, don't do it. That's rule number one. 
but don't do the crime if you can't do the time. I have other rules. I'll share those with you over time. So again, Craig, Just Genealogy, Book Sunday, one of my favorites. They're all my favorites. I don't, they're all my children, don't you think? We're almost to 200 videos. Probably within the next two weeks, we'll get to 200 videos. I'm so happy. Yeah, and tired too. <laughs>